Hey everyone, Iggy the Investing Iguana here, diving deep into a question that's been bugging many of us, are we really better off financially than our parents were? It's a debate that spans generations, touching on housing prices, cost of living, education, and job opportunities. Today, we're going to unpack this, comparing our situation with that of our parents to see who had it easier, or if we're actually facing tougher financial challenges. With all the advancements and opportunities we have today, it's a question worth exploring. So, grab your favorite snack, and let's dive into this comparison, from housing and living costs to education, jobs, and even investments. Let's delve deeper into the topic of housing prices. If we take a trip down memory lane to the 1990s, a four-room housing and development board, HDB, flat in Singapore could be purchased for less than $200,000. It was a time when housing was more affordable and the dream of owning a home was within reach for many. Fast forward to the present day and the landscape has drastically changed. The same four-room HDB flat now commands a price tag of over $400,000. This is more than double the price from the 90s, reflecting the significant inflation in housing prices over the years. Moreover, million-dollar HDB flats, once a rarity, are becoming increasingly common, further highlighting the escalation in housing costs. However, it's important to note that this surge in prices has not been entirely detrimental. For our parents' generation, who were homeowners during this period, the rising prices have resulted in substantial profits from their property investments. Their homes, which were once modestly priced, have now appreciated significantly in value. When discussing housing affordability, it's crucial to consider the price-to-income ratio. This ratio is a useful metric that compares the cost of a typical home to the income of the average resident. In Singapore, this ratio is currently 4.7. While this might seem high, it's actually quite favorable when compared to many other major cities around the world. This suggests that, despite the high housing prices, homes in Singapore remain relatively affordable for the average resident. One of the key factors contributing to this affordability is the increase in salaries over the years. As the cost of living has risen, so too have wages, helping to offset the impact of rising housing prices. Additionally, the Singapore government has implemented various HDB grants aimed at making housing more accessible. These grants provide financial assistance to eligible Singaporeans, further enhancing housing affordability. When we talk about the cost of living, it's common to hear our elders reminiscing about the days when everything seemed cheaper. However, it's important to understand that the economic landscape has changed significantly over the years. In today's world, while the nominal prices of goods and services may have increased, proportionally, we're actually spending less on essential items such as transport and food. This is due to a variety of factors including advancements in technology, increased efficiency in production and distribution, and global trade which have all contributed to reducing the costs of these essentials. Moreover, our saving rates have seen a considerable increase. This is a result of better financial literacy, more accessible saving schemes, and improved personal income growth. Higher saving rates mean that we are setting aside a larger portion of our income for future use, which contributes to financial security. Additionally, enhancements to the Central Provident Fund, CPF, a comprehensive social security savings plan in some countries, have played a significant role in ensuring a comfortable retirement for many. These enhancements often include higher interest rates, additional top-ups, and more flexibility in how the funds can be used. This means that individuals are better equipped to manage their retirement finances and can look forward to a more comfortable post-retirement life. So, while it might seem that things were cheaper in the past, when we consider the bigger picture, we can see that we're actually in a better position now in terms of managing our cost of living and planning for the future. It's a testament to how far we've come and how much we've progressed economically. Education is indeed a significant triumph for our generation. The landscape of education has seen a dramatic transformation with an impressive surge in the number of degree holders. This increase is not just a testament to the value placed on education, but also a reflection of the wider access to higher education that our generation enjoys. Fresh graduates today are stepping into the professional world with decent starting salaries, which is a positive indicator of the value of education in the job market. 
This trend also points to the increasing opportunities in various fields and the potential for career growth and financial stability. Indeed, for our educated youth today, the sky truly is the limit. The advent of online learning platforms has further revolutionized education. These platforms offer a wide array of courses, often at a fraction of the cost of a traditional degree. This has made education more accessible and affordable, breaking down geographical and financial barriers. From professional courses to hobby classes, these platforms offer something for everyone. Moreover, the flexibility and convenience of online learning mean that we can learn at our own pace, balancing education with other responsibilities. This has particularly benefited those who might not have been able to pursue education in a traditional setting. In addition, the quality of education offered online has seen significant improvements. Many online courses are now being offered by reputed universities and institutions, ensuring that learners are not compromising on the quality of education. In essence, our generation is spoilt for choice when it comes to education. Whether it's the field of study, the mode of learning, or the cost, we have more options than ever before. This is indeed a win for our generation and a step forward in making education a universal right. It's an exciting time to be a learner. The job market has undergone a significant transformation in recent years. The rise of technology and social media has not only changed the way we work, but also created an array of new career opportunities. These new age careers offer a level of flexibility that was previously unheard of, allowing individuals to work from anywhere, at any time. This has been a game changer, particularly for those who value work-life balance. In addition, these new careers often come with the potential for high earnings. For instance, careers in technology such as software development or data science are known for their lucrative pay scales. Similarly, social media has given rise to careers like content creation, digital marketing, and influencer marketing, where the earning potential is often directly proportional to one's creativity and reach. However, it's important to note that while these new opportunities bring with them a host of benefits, they also come with their own set of challenges. The fast-paced nature of these jobs, coupled with the constant need to stay updated and relevant, can lead to higher stress levels. This is a significant issue, as prolonged stress can have serious implications on an individual's mental and physical health. Moreover, the blurring of boundaries between work and personal life, particularly in remote and flexible jobs, can further contribute to stress and burnout. It's not uncommon for individuals in these roles to feel the pressure to be always on, leading to longer working hours and less time for rest and relaxation. Indeed, the realm of investment opportunities is one where our generation truly excels. The advent of online platforms and the introduction of innovative financial products have revolutionized the investment landscape, making it more accessible and affordable than ever before. In the past, investing was often seen as a privilege of the wealthy, with high entry costs and complex processes acting as barriers for the average individual. However, today's digital age has democratized investing. Online platforms have simplified the process, allowing anyone with an internet connection to invest from the comfort of their own home. These platforms offer a wealth of information and tools to help individuals make informed investment decisions. Furthermore, the range of financial products available to investors has expanded significantly. From stocks and bonds to mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and even cryptocurrencies, there are numerous avenues for individuals to grow their wealth. These diverse options allow investors to spread their risk across different asset classes and find the investment strategy that best suits their financial goals and risk tolerance. While our parents' generation may have enjoyed high savings rates, the current low interest rate environment has made traditional savings accounts less attractive for wealth accumulation. However, this has been offset by the plethora of investment options available to us. Whether it's investing in the stock market, real estate, or starting our own business, there are numerous ways for us to grow our wealth. However, it's important to note that while investing can lead to significant financial gains, it also comes with risks. Therefore, financial education is crucial. 
Understanding the basics of investing, such as the relationship between risk and reward, the importance of diversification, and the effect of compound interest can go a long way in helping individuals navigate the investment landscape. Our parents' generation had its own set of challenges and advantages. They may not have had the conveniences of modern technology, but they also didn't have to deal with the stress and complexities that it can bring. They found joy in simpler things, a handwritten letter, a home-cooked meal, or a leisurely walk in the park. The key is to understand that happiness and contentment don't necessarily come from having more or doing more. Sometimes, it's about appreciating what we have and finding joy in the simple things. This could mean taking time to enjoy a sunset, savoring a cup of coffee, spending quality time with loved ones, or pursuing a hobby. Simplifying our lives doesn't mean giving up on our ambitions or not making the most of the opportunities that come our way. Rather, it's about creating a balance between our personal and professional lives and not losing sight of what truly matters amidst the hustle and bustle of modern life. So, while our lives may be more complex compared to our parents' generation, we can still find happiness in the little things. After all, happiness is not a destination, but a journey, and it's the simple moments along the way that make it worthwhile. As we navigate through the challenges and advantages of our generation, let's remember to take a step back, breathe, and appreciate the simple joys of life. Just like our parents did. All right, folks, that wraps up our journey through the financial landscape of our generation versus our parents. We've looked at housing, education, job opportunities, and more. It's clear that each era has its own set of challenges and advantages. What do you think? Are we better off or do we face more hurdles? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a like, share it with friends, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more financial deep dives with me, Iggy the Investing Iguana. Stay savvy, my friends.